Treading Water. A series of still photographs, one gently fading into the next. All images are a view out across the sea, the horizon line at the centre of the view, reflecting the sky as the cloud cover changes. A man in black trunk stands facing the horizon, nearly waist deep in the calm grey water. Someone with short blonde hair is up to their shoulders in an inflatable ring. The sky and sea more blue now, gentle ripples on the sea surface. The sky lightly flecked with clouds. Two people wade, water up to their thighs. One in neon yellow trunks, one in a blue two-piece costume. The sky a flat, pale blue. A man is wading towards the camera, ripples around his waist. He wears a white sun hat, both hands dipping into the sea. A young child in bright yellow inflatable armbands is wading away from the camera, the sea clear, light rippling on the sea floor. At the horizon, sea and sky blur, becoming almost indistinguishable. Two men stand further back, dark figures against the brightness, water just above their knees, the horizon a crisp line against the sky, hints of distant islands just visible. Four people look towards the horizon, two men slightly ahead of the two others. One child wades, water around their midriff, one person swims, their head just visible. A man in pink trunks stands, bent slightly forward, head tucked down, skin golden where it catches the light. Two figures, one further away and more to the centre of the image, both in the water to their mid-chest, slight ripple lines stretching out either side from the closer figure. A woman stands close to the camera, hip deep in the very clear water, ripples gently circling around her, the sea floor picking up the light. Two women and a man standing some distance from each other, wading thigh deep in the clear water, the man leaning on a stick. Three men in trunks wade through a slightly choppy dark sea, sky pale blue, horizon line crisp. Someone standing thigh deep in a dark, slightly choppy sea, hands clasped behind their back. A woman standing nearer the camera, facing the horizon. She holds her arms slightly out, trailing her hands in the water. Nearer the camera still, a man stands, looking down at the water surface, broken by small, sharp waves. Two men wade together, up to their waists. They face the camera, but both look slightly down at the sea surface. Soft, dusty hints of pink and yellow blur the sky at the horizon. Two people swim, only their heads visible above a calm sea. A woman stands in the clear blue-green sea, hands on her hips gentle ripples forming around her. Two men wade away from the camera, one older, one younger. They leave a shallow wake in their path. A single man stands slightly left of centre, the sea is clear, surface gently rippling, horizon and sky blurring at their boundary. A woman and a man walk through the water, the woman slightly ahead of the man, both creating long ripples around and behind an otherwise calm sea. A group of three women closer to the camera, another figure further away, to the left. They wade away, hips deep. One woman has her hands resting just above her hips. More defined clouds form in the sky. 
a single figure is shoulders deep in the water, covering their face with their hands, ripples encircling them. In the foreground, to the left, a man is walking through the choppy sea, waves forming little white foamy crests, white ripples around his thighs. In the distance, a small figure wades away from us, skin catching golden light, the sky soft and hazy above a deep blue-grey sea. The screen goes black. Concept photography, Paris Petridis. Music, Michaelis Lepidakis. Piano, Gundega Smite. Video editing, George Trianta Filakos. Thanks to Argo Gliglaku, Dimitris Grenis, Lenio Latsu, Leo Yoka, Nana Kansa, Penelope Valti, Randall Warner, Sakis Serafas, Simos Saltiel, Vasilis Tsikaridas, commissioned by the Pelts Gallery, Birkbeck, University of London.